Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Tevo DRC. We're here talking today about word curses. I have never, I have survived word curses from my fellow Christians, from humans, family members that were never the ones that brought me up. These were ones afterwards. I've had people from that would never confront me in all of this. I want to make it plain. That is one reason I'm this strong because I had to go to the Lord. I know so many people that don't do it, but I didn't know there was so much false authority, accusation in leadership that says it's Levitical patriarchism. It is, that's why I'm speaking out. As the head of the foundational IFFM, DFW Leader Ministry Online Fellowship, as well as the crossbody unity leader, I am supposed to confront a Jezebel spirit, even if it's a doctrine of the Levitical patriarchism, fierce, dominating, false teaching, and trying to be rivalrous, which I am not their rival. It is against community as for turf, but it also uses occult witchcraft. And my Bible teaches me, according to Church of Thyatira, that the head of the lampstand, which is this, is supposed to be confront the Jezebel and set it down. Well, I'm not over them, I'm not under them, but I'm going to speak it out that I must do this because they target this person using occult witchcraft continually. If I go in, if it's anywhere in any kind of ministry, it's not black. It's usually not black at all or brown. If I and not Baptist, not not it's colonial Western European centric. We are the world totalitarian fascism that says it's Christianity marketing itself in moving in the gifts. It's the big boss fruit. It is the good old boys club, good old girls club. I'm not against them as humans. I'm not naming their names or accusing them. I'm standing up teaching fruit what's right for the sake of binding that, delivering that troublesome, annoying, and very targeting it's a targeting spirit i was never raised around it that's why i'm mentioning it being forthright that's why i'm doing it to say you better watch out god will bring this down bring these ministries down who hurt people i'm not a victim i'm a victor for having not knowing anything about it not grown up about it it was not until i was in my former state in chesterfield county after i'd been in the area ministry all my life. My father was a Baptist pastor, lived in Norfolk, came back, was in cross-body unity, basically, you know, it wouldn't call that, but citywide prayer, uh, all denominations and races getting together. Nobody did that. I met board members. I had board members. I had people that knew me. Frankly, a society of people who were not elite, but they were special, you know, gifted in their field, called. They were known and not known but it wasn't like this one doctrine because nobody ever did anything except act like a jesus person a christian and i'm used to that so you expect all kinds that say that market themselves as christian ministries and leader and we're pro the christians we're trying to say humble yourself be contrite deliver this false teaching ephesians 525 521 is the first church model to respect everybody. Paul said, everyone, I want to know nothing about anybody except Christ and him crucified. Walk it out in Ephesians 4, meekness and lowliness and long suffering, endeavoring to keep the bonds of peace together. This is why we're doing this, to teach for all the voices that are quiet. It has taken me this many years after Dallas, of duress, of focus, not knowing <laughs> what in the world is going on in some of the hoopla of charis It's charismatic. So we're not a charismatic as of 2012. We're not against them because there are some Enoch, first love, remnant still there, hopefully. There are. But then we have to say, let's break it down to Demas and Eli, evil eye, Eli, witchcraft, first Samuel. That's the crowd. You know, all right. So I look back at history. I ask, at, you know, Dad raised me as a graduate from the seminary, Baptist daughter. There was nothing like this. Nobody looked to see, are you submitted? Nobody was jumping me and saying you're not under a local. Pa-. Nobody did that. They still don't now. Vineyard done. They don't go. But this is a huge giant, mega and micro 
USA global spirit, colonial global spirit, I think slave master. <laughs> all right. No unforgiveness. Now, you can have tough people and black people and, you know, all that kind of stuff going on. I wasn't sent. They've been respectful to me, frankly, more than the white ones. The white Levitical patriarchs are not. For some reason, they can't discern me. They fail to discern the body of Christ correctly. The LP only. The LP spirit is wearying, targeting. All right. So I Googled. Officially, I Googled to make sure I wasn't right. That I wasn't right or wrong. I wanted to say, am I right? Am I wrong? And so I Googled in July 2023 and wrote an article what chat GPT AI said. I said, was the whole first church, Jesus, Paul, the disciples, how they ran the ministry, the fellowship, the lay, and marriage, the couple, was it all Ephesians 5.21, mutual submission in the fear of the Lord? It said, Yes. I said, well, when did this fascism, this territorial authoritarianism come jumping in people? I didn't say jumping, but that's what it implies. When did this start? And they said it was after Roman and Hellenistic Greek influences infiltrated the church. So make it official, please, LP especially. We are fine with your many good qualities, your fine arts, your worship. If, you're, if your people are not scanning targeting, never relating, not submitted to Ephesians 5.21, Ephesians 4, and are not submitted. 1 John 1.7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Christ cleanses us from all sin. That's probably half the white prophetic movement of charismatics not even qualifying because of the leadership training. The other thing it says, there's some not submitted, speaking of all these people high and mighty, so righteous about their submission in counties and cities and mega and metroplexes. Really, it's giant. I wouldn't be this forceful had it not been for Dallas, frankly, about it. Because it affects and hurts. Targets spiritually, demonically, non-African Americans, they'll go after the white. Why? Because they're scared of being called racist. If they, you know, it's not loving. So we're delivering it. Consider this, you're delivering it. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Proverbs 6, Proverbs 27, 6. All right, let's say, so chat GPT cited everybody was mutual submission in the fear of the Lord. That means chain of command, like I was raised, like I teach on, all right? Chain of command, males and females, all this stuff. It, If you have no holy fear of the Lord, if you're full of self or false teaching, then you will not qualify. All right. If you do not submit to God's whole counsel, you're false. So Matthew eighteen fifteen confront people in privately, respectfully, and meek. Pauline, Galatians 6, 1, in private. Correct people. If they are your authority, if they're your business, do it privately. And that says do it meekly in case you yourself will fall prey to the same sin. So I'm counting on the submission teachers that are saying, you're not submitted, Tavo, let's watch her, let's see if Tavo and all these other people, many people, males and females, all those, you know, LB, they're not submitted. We've never talked to them. We don't really want to. We don't really care. We want to, We don't love them. We want to say they're not submitted. And let's pass around the evil eye. They're in rebellion. That's how these country law micromanagers, busybodies, chief apostles, chief prophets, you know, many of them do that as well. That's how I know them because I was raised right and I had many people speaking in my lives and that were not like that servant leaders. But when I got to certain groups, a society of these that were the evil eye and I don't know, big boss with little churches and big, it really caught God needed to have this exposed trained and delivered and cast out. If you fail to discern the body of Christ correctly, you're gossiping, bossing, praying against, rumoring, mongering, then you are failing to discern the body of Christ. You're hurting community, creating warfare. It's spiritual word cursing, and you are doing damage to yourself. Failing to discern the body of Christ correctly is a communion type of similarity. It brings down some are sick, and they don't know why. Some are dying young, and they don't know why, and I'll talk on this another time. I can talk lots, because I didn't know what this was. It's dysfunctional.